a phone call. Um, you know, Taylor Guitars and Southwest are kind of cut from the same cloth because we do the whole, you know, if something sounds fun, we're going to do it. We're going to try and find a way to do it. Ooh, cut from the same cloth. <laughs> Ty likes it. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so we've invited him to headquarters and um, just talked about it. And, we are throwing around some ideas and we're like, what about a Southwest themed Taylor guitar? So that seems the most natural and so that was that was their part of it and then our part of it was like, alright, well, how about on a plane? And then uh, one thing led to another and here we are. Yeah. With the Southwest in the background. Right, exactly. I already got that. Now, now <laughs> let me uh, try, get both of you guys, tell, how did Vintage Trouble get in, invited in today? You know, and, um, get Taylor, your Taylor's got a really nice suite of fantastic artists, and so Tim Godwin's like, ah, I'm gonna a fantastic of sweet artists. <laughs> that, that, didn't, that, that isn't even what I said. You mixed my words. <laughs> yeah, well, what happened for us is we were trying to find a way to get some cheap flights, and we went online, and <laughs> they said this one thing, you get a free flight if you just play, so... There you go. That is that sounds like a little less kismet, a little more uh, ordained it's a little by less business. Romantic, but a little more realistic. I'm I'm a realist. <laughs> yeah, that was ordained by business. <laughs> but yeah, no, it it uh, it worked out, and we're ready to go. We can't wait for Vintage Trouble to just rock the freaking socks off. We're captive rock audience. The sky. We're gonna hit it. It's a totally captive audience. So I mean, whether they want it or not, they're gonna hear them. A whole but, new meaning for Mile High Club. <laughs> uh, you are. I cannot tell you how cliche that is. <laughs> So what was the oddest gig that you ever played? The oddest gig we done was in in an English cab outside of Liverpool. Um, they had something called the cab sessions there, so we thought we'd do our own cab sessions. So we had Richard bring his whole kick drum in, and that's a big kick drum. And acoustic guitar, bass, and Thai singing, and it was just driving around. And uh, yeah, you can actually check it out on YouTube. I'll send you the link. <laughs> It'll be interesting, we're kind of off the cuff with it. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to play until I get there. Like I might use the bathroom door, it might have a little bassy sort of hollow tone to it. Uh, maybe I'll kick it, maybe I'll pound it a little, hopefully nobody's in it. Maybe you'll break it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So, you know, I'm going to be improvising my um, drum setup. I don't know exactly what I'll play. Maybe somebody next to me will hold something like a, a can that I can make some cool tinny sounds. You know, I'm going to try to have fun with it and just, you know, try to make it work, which is something that we kind of like to do anyway. You know, we do a lot of odd kind of acoustic-y type stuff. And so, me as a drummer, I always got to find something interesting to hit and make rhythm and noise out of. So, we'll see what Southwest uh, has to offer. Yeah. You know, again, I'll probably end up hitting a wall. Not like a wall, but an actual wall. <laughs> yeah, now I understand you guys played in a cab, but this has to be the first time you've ever performed in a, at, a, at least in a commercial flight, right? Uh, I, I guess perform music, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, absolutely, I mean, this is this is going to be interesting because I think probably truth be told too, he prefers to seek uh, like find out what the environment is and create on the fly. And so there's going to be a little bit of creating on the fly here today, which is uh, yes, pun intended. Um, get it? See what I did there on the fly? On the fly. See, get it? And um, yeah, no, it's going to be. It's gonna be it's gonna be fun. He'll be he'll be beaten on on something. And you're so, playing out of a little pocket. I'm gonna play. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. This square. He's playing out of an amp that's about literally this big, if you can imagine. And like you could almost put it in your pocket. Wow. One of the problems, you know, with, with with the bass is just getting it getting it. We were trying to figure out how to get it to be heard in this situation. So this is gonna be fun too because if it's a little snotty and a little a little tiny snotty thing, that's gonna be perfect. It's gonna be fun. It's going to be great. We've done some crazy things before. Like I said earlier, I think I talk, talked to you earlier about the cab ride. And so we, uh, we've done some strange gigs and we love to set up in strange places and, and play music and, and other things. Yeah. Uh, so to do it on a plane now up in the air is going to be, uh, going to be interesting.
started hitting all kinds of weird stuff. I hoped it would register throughout the whole plane, which apparently you said that it did. So. Yeah, we're done. That was great. Yeah, yeah. My, fa my favorite yeah, right. part was just watching how everybody was into it. Yeah, like, you know, the, the, the in-flight entertainment. It's great. Yeah. Why you 